Yes, friends, it's official. True Detective did, in fact, get renewed for season five. (laughs) What a joke. Welcome, friends. I am the man you may know as E from Our Views Will Kill You, and I am of two minds of this as we talk about True Detective here. And if you may recall, I've done several reviews. I've reviewed every single episode of True Detective, Night Country, because I was interested. I thought, hey, this could be a good series. (laughs) I can't even take it seriously. Oh, my gosh. Talk about failing upward. Issa Lopez has been renewed. And I guess it's with good reason. And maybe there's a lot of hate watching going on. I mean, the series has been buried for a couple of years. And there is nothing else on. So I'm going to make some speculations in the future. But in the meantime, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I often do, and I often feel really guilty about not doing it. So I do appreciate the support. We really uh, enjoy your company. And don't forget you could join us. We have a, a tier that's a dollar just to help support the channel. We appreciate it. You can super chat us too. But anyway, let's get into the story. Let's talk about this because I, I'm, it's in, uh, infathomable. But I guess it's not. Talk about failing up the ladder. True detective renewed with Issa Lopez at the helm. The showrunner who is the writer and director of this show. And I just want to point out like, Hey, maybe you liked it. That's fine with me. And if you're watching this, I'm going to assume you know the ending. But what was ultimately the plot of True Detective Night Country? Two cops who don't particularly like each other because they covered up a murder that they committed together get uh, sidled, uh, you know, have to work together to resolve a new case of six dead scientists and an old case of one dead native girl, which both cases end up intertwining because, you know, the scientists decided for some reason to kill said native girl because their their mine that they worked for was poisoning the land and then instead of let take out all the supernatural stuff, but the local women become police investigators who and and thank you to the comments of my last video because you guys you guys were all over all the plot holes, you know these women are the these <laughs> these local sleuths figure out that all the scientists are guilty for killing this one girl e- even though it was really only one guy and they have no proof of anybody else but they come in and they decide to kidnap all of the scientists and stick them out in the snow for them to freeze to death, leaving one witness behind who they never go back for because they all work there as cleaning people, or at least some of them did. And you would think they'd be able to count how many people that they would recognize, like the guys who live there all the time. But So that's the plot. Take out all the supernatural stuff. Take out the one-eyed polar bear that was never explained. Take out everything, and, and that's the plot you're left with. When you want to talk about character growth, um... Two unlikable murdering police officers who cover up crimes and murder several people um, don't get any more likable. They don't learn any lessons. <laughs> Maybe they learn the lesson of keep covering up crimes because that's what real good cops do. Like the fact that she could wear that badge with a straight face after everything that happens. I, I don't know. Like <laughs> none of it makes any sense. We don't even figure, we don't even, I don't know. None of it makes sense. It's just, it's a thing. It happened. We watched it. And apparently a lot of us watched it. And I think a lot of it was hate watching. I don't know. So let's just get into it here where it says Issa Lopez is that one of a kind, rare talent that speaks directly to HBO's creative spirit. She helmed True Detective Night Country from start to finish, never once faltering in her own commendable vision and inspiring us with her resilience both on page and behind the camera. Alongside Jodie Foster and Kayla Reese, 
impeccable performances. She made this installation of the franchise a massive success. We're so lucky to have her as part of our family. It was the most watched season of True Detective. Uh, topping the first season of the anthology with 12.7 million viewers across multiple platforms. Now, what I would say is the first True Detective, nobody knew what it was. So it was kind of like this cult underground super like people like, oh, my gosh, you got to watch this series. And then the second season and third season, while some people do like them, were disappointing in quality. Right. And then. Nick Pizzolatto, the uh, unadulterated, uh, what do you call that, plagiarist that he is, his overall deal with HBO expired, and they moved on to somebody else, and she re, you know, this this woman, Issa Lopez, took an existing story that she had and repurposed it for True Detective, right? And Pizzolatto, which we'll get into, he... He he said things like, you can't blame me. And a lot of people, they've been fighting all on Twitter, which who cares? Don't stay off of Twitter, people. X, whatever. Um, It's just, it's a damn shame the true detective creator couldn't be part of it. I guess he was jealous. But I guess it's a, a pretty big hit. Again, there is literally nothing out there at all. And the interesting thing about this is that the price of the show is going to keep going up. Because if you look at all of the executive producers, you still have... They're, they're paying Matthew McConaughey, Woody Harrelson, uh, Carrie Fukunaga, Pizzolatto. They're all credited as executive producers. That's a lot of people you're paying money to. So they're going to get her for one more for one more season. And my speculation is a lot of people watch this out of morbid curiosity. Maybe they heard bad things. Jodie Foster brings in people, I would say, on some level. And then they're like, oh, my gosh, this was absolute trash. What am I even watching? And next season, I just I can't imagine people will tune in for the first season or the first episode for morbid curiosity, but then it's gonna have to be over. Um, sorry, and here's Salon. Sorry, Nick Pizzolatto. More true detective is coming. Like, why they're celebrating him losing his franchise again? I'm not even siding with Nick Pizzolatto. Like, I really like season one, but come on, bro. So what they're saying, Variety reported that the anthology season finale saw more than 3.2 million viewers across HBO and Max, demonstrating a nearly 60% increase in viewership since the premiere. Because people were just like, this is so bad, I gotta watch it? Like, is that what they're saying? I don't, I, I don't understand. So, and Nick Pozzolato, as they say, he was very vocal about his, his disapproval of the show. Uh, but Lopez responded, I believe that every storyteller has a very specific, peculiar, and unique relation to the stories they create. And whatever his reactions are, he's entitled to them. That's his prerogative. Hey, very professional of you. Well written, Isa Lopez. Unlike your, <laughs> unlike your show, True Detective, Night Country, well written. <laughs> and Pizzolatto is being kind of a baby. Like, come on, dude. You're getting paid to do nothing on this show, and I know it's kind of your baby. Move on to something else. But I just can't imagine this. This is not a good. This is not good enough to warrant more. True to tell. What are, like I what, what, what? I don't know. And it's an anthology, so you're probably not getting Jodie Foster back, right? So uh, everything we know about True Detective Season 5, which is nothing. We know nothing. They literally announced it today or yesterday, depending on when you watch this. Um, very strange. It's, it's very... They, and they were so happy. They just they wanted to sign her. Pitch her. But notice they, it seems like they only signed her to one season. She'll work on a new season as part of a new overall deal with HBO. So maybe the deal is is that she'll get to do one more season of Night Co of of whatever you want to call it, True Detective, Night Country, whatever it is, and then maybe she'll get to pitch another show and see what happens. 
and then they'll redo her deal if they feel like it. So I, they're not backed into anything. What's the plot of True Detective Season 5? Not a lot. That's for sure. A lot of padding. <laughs> she goes, uh, do they want the cast to return with their characters? <sighs> I do feel that the characters grew. Really? Did they grow? Really? Did they? Not so sure. Uh, what are they? Who's in the new cat? Nobody knows. Why are you even speculating? I just, I am, I'm aghast that this is actually going to happen. I just can't even believe. I, maybe I'm more surprised that they're willing to pay more money for, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it, it was a ratings hit. So guess what? We give more to hate watch if that's what we want. I just can't imagine the next season's going to do well because people are going to be like, well, that was a thing that happened. And and if there's anything competing against it, apparently the series has a 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes, shocking on the critic side, but a 59% audience score, which is right where I'm at. 59%. It's a fail. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen, but it's definitely not good. Um. The ambiguity of the finale really worked on me, says this critic. That's not me. <laughs> it's the ambiguity. It is funny. I was going to get into more details because now that the dust is settled, we can kind of perform an autopsy on the show, carve it apart. The um, Issa Lopez was like, I love how people are just interpreting the end of the show however they want because clearly she didn't know what she was doing she forgot that she even left the tongue there and she's like yeah whatever you want to think about it a story's a story as they say what do you guys think let me know down below i'm sure i'm gonna get a little bit of hate because i am ripping on the fact that this got another whole season but i'm pretty sure i'm accurate like you just cannot defend the writing the writing was a terrible you could at least say the acting was like stiff and jilted and the characters are unlikable, but they were written to be that way. They're perfectly fine actors. Like I believe that they were playing the parts that they were playing, which is all you can ask an actor to do. The times when they're not good is when they pull you out of it and you're like, oh, I'm just watching John Cusack be John Cusack. Uh, and even he's an okay actor. So, but the script... And the dialogue and the time is a flat circle. Like, come on, people. But anyway, let me know what you think down below. I do appreciate you listening. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Uh, we do have a live stream, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Friday nights. Come join us. It's a party. Promise you'll have a good time. We do a bunch of reviews. We consolidate everything. It happens every Friday night we release it. And uh, join us. Help support the channel. We could use it. We're growing, and it's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. But I am on to the next one.